here is their first non-binary operator who just looks like a woman. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. Here's another image, as you can see. She's just, it's just an ugly woman. I mean, <laughs> look, someone put the hunchback of Notre Dame's face. That one there was a violation, personally I wouldn't have it. Now guys, we all know what it means when companies start pulling this ridiculous, cringe, virtue signaling BS. It's not because they're trying to get that sweet, sweet DEI money. But what I find really strange is that for 21 years since Call of Duty has been around, we have never, not even once, gotten straight bullets. Yet, we're getting transgender bullets now. We have non-binary operators now. I mean, at this point, guy, why even call it Call of Duty? Just call it Call of the non binaries call of the homosexuals you know because you guys have clearly forgotten who you're making games for the market that you're making games for are men straight masculine men not homosexuals not non-binaries guy is this such a hard concept to grasp though you know but you know what it's perfectly okay it's fine it's fine we on the side of reason and common sense will do the most reasonable thing going forward we'll simply let our wallets decide what happens our wallets will simply identify as non-custom Ejaculus Erectus with me. <laughs> brother, where's Flacidius? It's quest, brother. He was too soft for this world. <laughs> <laughs> shocker to hear about creatives melting down over the fact that gamers are simply criticizing their products and the decisions they've made and that's exactly what's happening with the mass effect board game right now because a designer has attacked fans as effing man babies after the game received negative reviews allegedly for pushing gender ideology oh shit here we go again Eric Lang said, I hate even talking about this on social media, but if you played Mass Effect TBG, would you mind giving it a rating on BGG to offset the fucking man babies trying to tank the rating with ones because they can't handle looking at pronouns on a character sheet? This is how I know how out of touch these directors are. I mean, where do you get off as a director insulting your fan base because you, as the director, chose to change a critical part of the lore of a particular franchise? In order to satisfy and virtue signal to a non-existent population that doesn't even play freaking video games and when people rightfully complain about it you call them ists and phobes all the usual suspects he ain't lying. do you guys now see why the video game industry needs a hard reset why we had a gimmick a2 why we need a purge essentially it's because these weak willed lily livered spineless bastards are the ones who are in charge of the video game industry now that is the entire reason as to why we have to fight back. That's not ridiculous. That's not ridiculous to say that. Call me. Why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> and then we have girls out here talking about how there is no greater pain than heartbreak. Try fighting Tree Sentinel in Elden Ring, then come back and talk to me about pain. It's facts! It's facts! It's facts! It's facts! It's facts! It's facts! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! And his name is John C. <laughs> Sensational. <laughs> through the ashes after they've burned them to the Unknown 9 Awakening is truly one of the worst video games to release in 2024 and just over the past few years it was buggy, it was broken, the storytelling was terrible, it was just executed very poorly and overall this is truly going to be Unknown 9 Awakening because in just a few weeks nobody's going to be playing it anymore given the drastic drop in players on Steam. But now we have a journal coming out talking about how they hate the majority of the game. 
but there are some really great elements making them look like absolute clowns. So this is actually what I think happened with Unknown 9, right? I think that the head honchos or the owners of the company at Bandai Namco, they were like, guys, you gotta make Unknown 9 for this, that, and the third. But nobody really wanted to work on a game like Unknown 9. So they were really bored, you know, just like, ugh, you know, yeah. And then somebody suggested that, you know what, guys? How about we make Budokai Tenkaichi 4? And then everyone was like, yeah, yeah, let's go make it now. And then the people that were left behind were the activists, the ones who don't know how to write an actual game, the ones who don't know how to market their game, and most importantly, the ones who don't know what gamers actually want. Those were the ones that were tasked with making Unknown 9. It is the only explanation, the only logical explanation I will accept as to why a game like Unknown 9 actually exists. And to prove my point, guys, Unknown 9 had literally, well, allegedly, zero copies sold. See Exhibit A. From Anonymous, I work for GameStop at the corporate level. I have data on 2,900 stores. Your video inspired me to check Unknown 9 sales. While there was movement for 2K initial copies, which were store distributions, I saw maybe 50 other copies with movement, which were pre-orders, but nothing else. We had around 350 copies of Unknown 9 for PS5 available for shipping, but the demand was zero, meaning none sold. On Xbox, we had about 150 copies and zero demand. So between both platforms at the time of my first email, we sold zero copies. Even worse, for online orders, GameStop had roughly 500 units across both platforms, PS5 and Xbox Series, available for shipping with absolutely no demand. That's right. Zero copies sold online as well. I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. <laughs> what I like to do, this is how I used to some more. Ready? Watch, move, move out the way. Here we go, here we go. Ready, ready? Look at this glorious sight. All of these ships hovering above this <clears throat> godforsaken rock, waiting to shoot down hell divers to take this planet for our own. <laughs> I need this. Oh, I love it. Sake. Man, that's the best voice acting since Thanos, man. Marvel might as well give my man an Oscar before they hire him. Kick is really the place of degeneracy because Kick streamer Dum Dum G's took a homeless woman on a dinner date but dined in Dash, leaving her with the bill. And instead of describing the situation, I'm just gonna show it to you now. 86. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, okay, um. Fuck. Um, uh, my car. Uh, I think I left my wallet in my car. Fuck. I'll be right back. Alright, hold on. My name's uh, ah, ATM Nari Nari Nari. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I just said NA. Yeah. <laughs> This is deplorable and disgusting behavior. It's almost as if the internet has shined its spotlight on how far people are willing to go for a few views and a few clicks. The level of degeneracy is honestly unmatched. People like this don't deserve to be on the internet, man. It's a bannable offense. We do have one more thing. 235 acres. We farming our own chickens, homie. Thousands of chickens, thousands. Running around everywhere, quack, quack, quack. Talk about next level shit, homie.